In this lesson, we will learn how to plot a bar graph in Matplotlib. So, a bar graph uh, represents the data in the form of rectangular bars. To create a bar graph in Matplotlib, there is a method bar that is actually a method of uh, the pyplot submodule which we worked on in the previous lectures. We will see it again here. Okay, a bar graph is a pictorial representation using rectangular bars. And these are of different heights based on the value of data. Like an example is shown here. These uh, bars represent the value of the data totally. So to understand the bar graph concept, uh, here we will see an example and we will plot a bar graph for student and student marks. So let us see the example. Here we have our PyCharm ID. We are using the free and open source PyCharm Community Edition. Create a new project. Go to File, New Project. Okay, now add the name of your project here. Okay, you can add any name to your project. Now, here is the location where your project will get saved. No problem, click create. Okay, here is our project. Create a new Python file, right click on the project, new, new Python file. Add the name of your project and after that, there is no need to mention the .py extension. It will automatically add it because the Python file is by default selected. Press enter here. On pressing enter, you can now see that .py extension is visible and the path is also visible on keeping the cursor. Now let us create a bar graph. First, let us add the comments. Import matplotlib. We have imported the matplotlib library and pyplot is the submodule. We have also created an alias plt using the as keyword. Now we don't need to mention this again and again. Just mention plt. Also import numpy and create an alias because we will set the values using the numpy. That means we will add the x and y coordinates as an array value. So to create an array in python, numpy will be used, the numpy array method. Let us see. So here we are adding the data for student. Okay, first beginning student numpy. That means the alias numpy.array method. Now set the values. That means the student's name. Let's say we will add for six students. Add the names. Now for the student marks, so set another array, numpy.array. This will be the input for our bar graph. Add the marks of these six students. Okay, we have added it. Now plot a bar graph. I told you we will use the bar method. Okay, so the x and y axis for our bar graph, we will set using the student and marks. So we have set the bar method of our pyplot submodule, matplotlib submodule. And within this mention the student and marks. That's it. Okay. Now set the labels also using the xlabel and uh, xlabel and ylabel methods. We have shown this in the previous lectures. Do the same for y, copy paste and mention ylabel. Y would be marks. You can also set the title. 
plt dot title student marks that's it and display okay that's it file save all right click run demo one we have shown our records in the form of a bar graph you can easily check these are rectangular bars of different height based on your data so our data was student marks you can save the figure from here also the title is visible student marks which we have set using the following okay so guys we saw how to create a bar graph we created a similar bar graph here using the bar method so the bar graph was a plot for student and student marks in this way you can easily create a bar graph